Now, in this video, I'm going to go through how to actually locate items using the item locate control, but you need to understand that if a customer were to walk in and want to price on a part or wants to know if you have any in stock, this is not where you're going to go to actually do that. You're going to do that from the invoicing menu, and then there is a menu here that says uh, check item price. This will give you all the information you need to know from, from the perspective of giving the customer information, but it also makes sure that the prices are being run through the correct matrix and that you know, you're giving them the correct information and where inventory is the raw data. It's, it's not where you're gonna you know, go in there and try to tell the customer anything. It, it's really where you go to research things or where you go to adjust inventory or anything like that. So. In this uh, video, what we're going to do is kind of focus on this particular control, which is in the inventory section, locate item. Um, the first thing to understand is that you have to type at least two numbers. If, if you notice, if I type a zero, nothing actually happens. I have to type at least two numbers in here before the system actually starts to locate an item. And the reason for that is pretty simple. There, there, in most cases, there's over a million part numbers in the database for each of the dealerships that we're setting up. And as a result, we have to try to narrow things down a little bit. Otherwise, we end up bringing back these huge lists that take a little bit more time to, to go grab. So by getting two numbers, we actually are shortening that dramatically. So that's the first thing. You have to type in at least two numbers before it starts to locate. At this point, when we go in here and start typing in a number, you'll notice down here at the bottom that the system is locating all the numbers that start with 09-500, and then it gives me a list of the different vendors that we actually have for that particular number. So in this case, there's actually two numbers in here for Helmet House, and there's another one here for the, this other vendor. So we, we are giving you a list of everything that you have along with the quantity on hand. Um, we also give you supersession and, and NLA data here color coded when it comes up if it actually matches something. Now in addition to this we can also if, if we didn't want to put in a part number we could also maybe we're spot checking inventory so I want to go in here and, and go to bin A1 and this shows me a list of all the parts that are in that particular bin location or that have been assigned to that bin. Um, another thing we can do is locate off of a description. Um, we can also specify that we want to look at all of our batteries, for example, and that'll go out and look for anything that we have that actually has a, a battery uh, category assigned to it. So there's a lot of options here, uh, whether the item is in stock. I don't want to look at all the items that I don't have. I want to look at the ones that I do. Um, we can also specify manufacturers and suppliers to try to narrow down the results. So most of the time you're going to be using a part number here, but just you know, understand that there are other options that you can use to try to locate the part that you're looking for.